Thank you to each and every one of you who have subscribed to my channel. And if you haven't done so, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification button to so notify you when I can you upload a video. And hit that like button. Smash that button real, real, real hard. Okay. All right. So let's talk about a little bit of what what has gone in these past few years, past four years to be exact, and what we look forward to. And when I say this, I, I want to say this with the utmost respect because as you see my channel, you 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 know that I'm I'm. I'm bipartisan. I never go here nor there. I go with the truth. Um, I've been told, well, I was told by one person that I, I, I'm a Democrat, and which I was at one time. I was a Democrat, and and not because oh, I was a Democrat because I, you know, um, I I went with an ideology or whatever. It, be. it just it was just more fitting to me of what they believed in at the time that I was a Democrat. But then I, I figured, you know, as I got older, I got wise, and I said, you know, most of these most of these congressmen and women and, and, and most, of the, most of these politicians don't care about us. So I decided to go, you know, maybe independent and, and decided to, you know, to vote for the person who I think best fits the, the, the role. You know, whether it's a senator, whether it's a governor, whether it's a mayor, whether it's a president of the United States of America, or even the governor of Puerto Rico. Because I'm Puerto Rican and I was in Puerto Rico for 12 years, and I had I, I voted there, but I never was with one. I was I was with one particular party, and then um, just because of the um, the idea that this that this governor had, but that never came to from petition, and so I was like ah, the same thing, you know, over and over again. So the minority got tiring. But in these past four years, and and, and I want people to think logically. I don't want no 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 one minded people. I think about it logically. The president, the ex be president of the United States of America, all that person has done is had divided this country. In my years living, in my years following politics, when I first started watching politics with with was which was with Ronald Reagan. Um I didn't believe right then that an actor should be president of the United States. Um, he had nothing to walk for the United States, but he did anyway. You know, AIDS came around, and um, he basically did nothing. Um, he never mentioned the word AIDS to his wife Nancy did. God bless her. But it started from there, and you know, I, and, I, and I started watching more and more politics, and in and, 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 and every four years, it's basically the same thing. It's unemployment, it's health, um, it's the war, immigration. Um, so it's it's the same thing. Nothing nothing changes. You you never hear them talk about reforming America. I mean the, the the criminal justice system. You know you never hear them talk about um, how how we would do with with like let's say have people do trades instead of you know do college for all. We, none none of that was ever brought up until Bernie until Bernie Sanders brought it up a few years ago, right? But we have a division in this country that it's so big. I mean. Just last week's um, riot, insurrection in in, in, the, in the capital is a good it is a good show of how divided this country is, and for anyone who tells me any different, it's wrong. You know, you could be a Republican, you could be a Democrat, whichever way you look at it, it's wrong. You have you had a person who became president of the United States just to become president of the United States. Didn't have to run; he's a billionaire, quote unquote, and had everything in his hand, but. Wanting to be narcissist that he is, or, the, or being the narcissist that he is, he wanted to put something in his resume, and people actually bought into his rhetoric. You know, he's going to make America again. He's going to have Mexico pay for the war. You know, and one thing that, that that he has is that he speaks to to people who don't know any, to people who doesn't know any better. Um, that's a shame. It really is because here you have a lot of Republicans, right? You have a lot of Republicans that say, "Oh, Democrats, all they do is." Get on welfare. They do this and they do that. And they don't do their research. They don't do their. This is what I get, I get angry at. They don't do the research and they don't realize that the ones who benefits most from the SNAP programs, from Section Eight programs, and all that are Republicans. If you look at it, if you look at the statistics, 
most of these people who are on welfare, who are on SNAP or whatever, who are on Section 8, whatever, are white people. Yes, you have your blacks. Yes, you have your Hispanics. Yes, you have Asians and stuff like that. But the majority are white. They seem not to know that. They seem not to do a research on that. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but I'm just, I'm just telling you, if you're going to come at me and say, you know, this is what Democrats do, do this is what, you know, the, the, the Democrat cities, you know, look at, look at your own before you look any further. I mean, I would never degrade a Republican and say, oh, you know, um, this person did this or that without knowing the facts. You know, if the Republican did a good job, he did a good job. If the Democrat did a good job, they died, you know, he did a good job. But that's not the case here. We live in a country that we are divided amongst ourselves. We, we, we come into a division. You, you got conspiracy theories up their asses, and people fall for that. Conspiracy theories are good, but that's all they're ours. It's good. That's just, it's, it's, it's a conspiracy theory. That's all it is. That's, a, you know, it's, it's, it's not proven. It's just an idea that someone had. And, and bringing it forward, and there are some people go, you know, go with that. So, with that being said, what happened a few weeks ago in, in the in, in the Capitol, it was heartening to see. It was, it was heartbreaking to see that people from the United States of America went inside the Capitol and um, tried to, to destroy it, tried to vandalize it. Whatever they did not try, to, what they did was it was disgusting. And then for people in the own Republican Party try to compare that with the protest last summer, with the rioting of last summer, I mean that's kind of that's not that's not that's not that's not logic, nor is it that's not logic. You cannot compare a, 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 a demonstration for human rights. Okay, you cannot compare that. You cannot compare buildings being burnt or our police stations being burnt or cars being or highway being blocked because then we compare that to the the insurrection that happened in the Capitol. Because what happened last summer is because people got tired and people get tired of of abuse. And we've been having too many police abuse and no one does anything. Even Trump hasn't even done anything. And no one does anything. You know, you get tired of watching black men over and over, day in and day out, being killed by white officers. There are a few black officers that, that have done the killings, and there, and, there are, and there are some white people who have died in the hands of, uh, of, of, of officers. We're not saying that it hasn't, but we see more than majority in blacks. And people get tired, you know, and when your voice, and you keep yelling and your voice is not heard, sometimes, you know, that... That, 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 that gets tiring and sometimes you have to do something ex, you know explosive you have to do something and I don't mean to take that word don't take that word there I mean you have to do something big to grab people's attention um, was I um, was I in favor of the looting no was I in favor of the violence and rioting no I was not um, it should be a peaceful riot I mean, I'm not right we shouldn't be I'm, I'm using the wrong terminology it should be a peaceful protest but it comes to times that People, like I said, people get tired of the same bullshit. You know, here I am, I'm screaming, I'm screaming abuse, 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 and no one's listening to me. So I have to take actions in my own hands. And if I go to jail, I might go to jail. But someone's going to listen. And that's the way That's the way people have felt, you know, in the black community, in the minority community. That's that's how we feel. You know, our voice is not being heard. I mean, do we want to, do they want to um, burn buildings down? No. Do they want to um, go to police? Just, no, they don't want to do none of that. But it comes to a point that you say, you know, enough is enough. You know, when are our voices going to be heard? Okay? And for you to compare that to where was the Democrats when, when six months ago, when they were rioting and, and buildings were being looted, that's, that's, you cannot compare that to what happened a few weeks ago. When people actually went into our capital, a federal owned building, a federal building, and started trashing, beating cops up, and a girl got shot, but she got shot because she, you know, she, you know, every action has a reaction. You know, um, um, things, the things, you know, your actions have consequences, whether good or bad. You got to learn that. But with, you know, with all that, you cannot compare. You cannot compare a protest of human rights. To a protest 
and that wasn't even a protest to a protest of votes you're talking about votes people you're gonna go you're gonna storm a building out of because of votes and then votes that literally that literally 60 court says there's no evidence of fraud so if there's no evidence of fraud why are you looking at the one thing that I'm more upset about 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 all this is that you people if you're watching this and you're a Republican and you follow Donald Trump and you follow Ted Cruz and you follow Giuliani and you follow um the Senator Hawley and you follow Mitch McConnell, and you follow Lizzie Graham, and you follow all those people, you follow the wrong people because each and every one of those people, they knew that Vice President Pence could have not done anything. There was nothing in his power for him to overturn, all right, the, the election, to overthrow, to overturn what his job as a vice president is. Is The MC is just to call out the collegiate government, the, uh, the electoral votes. That's his job. He, they, they, not Pence. If there was a Democrat uh, uh, vice president, there's nothing he could have done because the Constitution of the United States does not allow it. Okay? So they knew that. And knowing that, they still stirred the pot. They say that Mike Pence could do something. Donald Trump said, Don, Mike, Donald Trump said, Mike can do something. I hope you do something. We want you to do something. He knows that he can't. He knows that he couldn't do nothing. But yet, he, yet he, that, that's the only fire in a crowded room. And that's what he did. He stirred people up. He stirred people's emotion. He stirred people's trust. He stirred people's hatred. He stirred. He, he, he did a lot of bad things, knowing that none of those things could have been done. I, I'm, I'm, I'm one of the assumptions. There were a lot of lawyers. I told them, Mr. President, you know, there's nothing we can do about the elections. You know, we can't. I can't go into a courtroom without no evidence. But yet, that's when he got Giuliani because Giuliani would do it because Giuliani would. Would Giuliani would put his, his 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 license on the line, just just to get notoriety, because that's Giuliani. That's that that's that's who he is. That's who that that's who he has. That's who he has become, you know. And it's a shame. It really is a shame. So when you have lawyers that's telling you no, but you have a lawyer say, "Yeah, yeah, let's go for it." Come on. And you got this idiot, Mister Pillow, who knows nothing about law, who knows nothing about the constitutional law. Wants to and wants a martial law. Wants to come on, man. You stirring up the pot. This is supposed to be a democratic nation that we take our wins and we take our losses. I mean, when you look at the 2000 elections where Al Gore with George Bush, yes, that went to the Supreme Court, but it didn't go because of fraud. It, be, it went because 577 votes, because Al Gore won by 577 votes, and, and, and he, he's within his right. Bush said, no, I want a recount of this particular these particular counties and he chose Republican counties and Al Gore chose Democrat counties and Al Gore chose because you, you, you had a choice to choose the county that you wanted to recount you had that choice and Al Gore chose some some Democratic counties that he knew he already won but he chose that he should have chosen other counties that were Republicans to see where the votes were there and comes out to me that George Bush won but when George Bush won he didn't take this to the courts. He didn't do that. He didn't do what Donald Trump did. He conceded. Al Gore conceded, and said, oh, "You know what? The bad man won." I mean, so you know, this is just it's like a game. You know, you win some, you lose some. You go to a baseball game. One team is going to win. One team is going to lose. You know, but don't cry foul when your team loses. Don't cry foul when you lose. You know, how can you say, "Oh, we were winning by by 10 p.m. We were winning by so many thousand of votes." Are very very important people. That's what he said. Very important people called me to congratulate me. When he himself knows that Pennsylvania did the walking ballots first, that Georgia did the walking ballots first, and then they did the mail-in ballots. Okay, Florida was the first state to finish. Why? Because Florida's legislature a few years back passed a law that I'm, I'm assuming that you can count the you can count the, the men in votes before the election. So Florida was ahead of its time. And this was going to happen in Pennsylvania, and he, well, at least in Pennsylvania, but the legislator in Pennsylvania had voted against it. And that legislator, the House, is Republican. And they said no. So it was all, it was all in their court. So for you to sit there and lie, and the thing that gets me angry also is that people don't do their research 
you know, I'm a, like I said, I'm a person, I'm bipartisan. I don't take no one side. I take the, I take the fat side. You know, people say, you know, how can, you know, Donald Trump says, how can Sleepy Joe get 81 million votes? And how the hell did, he, how, how did Donald Trump get 75 million votes? All right. If you're talking about both voter fraud, you know, 64 million people voted for him in 2016. And now 10 million people, 10 more million or 9 more million people voted for Donald Trump this year. Or last election. Okay. So what does that tell you? Did you tell you that more people, I mean, more people um, became registered voters and people who, who didn't vote in the last elections came out to vote? That's what it tells you. That's all it tells you. And that has nothing to do with scam, has nothing to do with fraud, has nothing to do with none of that. But he makes you believe that that's what it is. And you, you know, a gullible person will say, you know what, that's true, you know. How can you come to me and tell me that there's more voters that register, there was more votes that register voters? Come on, I'm not stupid. Don't, I mean, don't come with some stupid shit like that to me because that's not true. Because if that was the case, then that'd be fraud that you can prove. Because if you have, if you have 100 registered voters in one county, Let's just, say, let's, just say, let's say the population is 200, right? And all those 200 people are registered voters, right? The population of 200, and there's 200 registered voters. And you get 250 votes. Now, you know, and you say, wait a minute, wait a minute. This population only has 200 people. 250 people voted. The last time we did the audit, there was only two hundred people. There was only two hundred registered voters. Where did where did these extra fifty come from? So then you do an investigation. So so what you do? What you do that investigation? But you don't even have to do the investigation because you know there's two hundred people. That's the that's the population. They all registered voters. Okay, they all voted, and plus we have we have fifty extra votes. So there's something here. So so with that, you can take to the court and say, you know what, we're gonna halt this vote, and we're gonna, we're gonna halt the votes here, and we're gonna see what other discrepancies other counties have because they are because of this one county. So then you start checking other counties and you see if they have the same thing. And you try to see a pattern. And if you see a pattern, because that could be a fluke, but you see a pattern like, well, wait, now here there's, there's voter fraud. But that, that's not what happened, okay? Here was just a mindset that just kept feeding you lies after lies after lies after lies. And some people, the majority of people, believed it. And it's a shame. Because here we have a divided country. Because we're supposed to be, I mean, it's great to agree, to disagree. It's great to do that. Because, you know, you keep yourself open minded. Because that's what, you know, that's what a nation does. That's what people do. We're open minded. Because we all thought the same would be boring. We're open, we're open minded. We, you know, I respect your idea, you respect mine. But at the end of the day, we're a nation. We're supposed to stick together. Okay. Here you go. You you yell at a man, a Kaepernick, because he he gets on his knees, because he's against police brutality. But yet all you guys are okay with what happened with the Capitol. You guys are okay that people went in there with the intentions to hurt people, to hurt those senators who you chose to serve. I mean, for you chose to serve. The vice president was a hundred feet away from these people, and they were like, "Kill Pence, kill Pence." Is that something that you really want? No matter if he, I don't like the politics of Donald Trump, but I don't wish him ill. He's still a human being. You know, he may make 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 he made mistakes like we all do, but he, his his mistakes are political. His mistakes are his narcissism. His mistakes, he only thinks of himself. But that doesn't mean I want, I want something, you know what? I want something to happen. I want something bad to happen to him. No, I don't. Because that's not me. That's not Christian like that. Me. I mean, I don't agree with his politics. I don't agree with a lot of people's politics. But I'm not going to wish him bad. You know, at the end of the day, I, yeah, I will sit down with him. I will, talk, I will have a conversation. I will have coffee with him because he's a human being. I don't have to agree with everything he says or you say, or whatever it can be. But at the end of the day, we're human beings. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, we are a nation. And that's how we're supposed to stick together. Okay, the pandemic is an unfortunate thing that came over from China, and he's supposed to step up, and he should have stepped up. Um, he should have put out the defense bill. He should have um, made all these factories come out with N95 masks, um, um, produce vaccines. He should he should have done that. At least with the at least with the masks, he should have done that. 
you would have to shut down. He should have said, he should have said, he should have said, masks are mandated. For 20 days or 30 days, you have to wear your mask. We want, this may not go away, but it will diminish a lot of things. But he didn't do that. A leader leads. And had he done that, a lot of people don't listen to him. A lot of people don't listen to him. They wouldn't, you know, they wouldn't be with, oh, you're violating my rights. They wouldn't do that. You know, and then he goes around saying that the Democrats are going to take away your Second Amendment rights. And then people believe that. You know, you know the ammunition sale went up this year, I mean, last year because of that? He's feeding into the NRA. He's feeding, let's do this concept that the United States, that the Democrats are going to take away our, our, our Second Amendment rights. That's not going to happen. That cannot happen. That has to go through, that has to go through, 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 through votes. That has to go to the House of Representatives. That has to go to the Senate in order for that to happen. And that's not going to happen. But yet, people believe that it will because he said so. But if you educate yourself and you're educated enough, you should know that the cost, you know, for you, for an amendment, the First Amendment, Second Amendment, for one, for any of the amendments to be taken out of the books, it has to go through a process. Okay? And it's very hard. In 260, in 250 some odd years, no amendment has been taken out of the books. And no amendment will. You can interpret the you can you can interpret it you can interpret the amendment the way you want to interpret it or the way the forefathers interpreted the second amendment but it's not going to be taken away from you you know when people say defund the police it's not defunding the police that they're going to take out the police and they're going to put community based leaders there they're going to put community no, that is not saying that defunding the police means he's telling you that these money that's these extra dollars that they're getting for stupid stuff that they don't need it's not going to be there anymore that's what defunding the police means. You're still going to have your officers. You're still going to have this, but you're not going to have that extra money to do whatever you want to because you're not doing the correct thing to do. You're not doing the correct thing. And that's, you know, when a, when an officer gets written up, you don't follow up. When, it's, when a person shoots someone else, you don't follow up. You always, oh, it, it was self-defense. You know, when a cop shoots a person who's coming at them with a knife or, or a gun, you can't shoot him in the leg, then you got to kill him. You know, some people, you know, some officers don't de de-escalate, which is the first thing you're supposed to de-escalate the situation. They don't do that. They run for their, they, they go for their guns. I mean, they go for their guns. Why? Because you have these young officers who think that just because they got a gun and a badge, they gives them an entitlement. They're entitled to the uh, justice. I am justice. No, you're not justice. You're supposed to uphold the law. You know, so the, so so defunding the police in that aspect is good. And by the way, he's not defunding the police. He wants more money to be put into the police. Why? Because he knows that there's a need. You know, there should be a, 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 a psychiatric review. I, that's what I believe. These officers should be reviewed every year when there's a complaint against them with a, with a citizen. That complaint should be addressed. Let's let's see what's going on. Maybe this, this maybe this, this citizen has a vendetta against this person. And let's see if this really happened. And if it did happen, then you take action. If it didn't happen, you know, fine. But at least you looked into it. You know? <clears throat> People are saying, oh, you know, um, Black lives matter, all lives matter. All the life does matter. But at this particular time when the things happen, it was black lives that matter because those were the lives that were being taken away. Those are the lives that are being taken away right now by officers. We all know that all lives matter. So you don't have to be smart about that. But at that particular moment when something happens, you, you concentrate on that. And that's what we were concentrating on, was black lives matter. You know? And people may say things about black lives matter, but they don't do the research on Black Lives Matter. The Black Lives Matter does a lot for the community. They really do. Okay, people say, "Oh, Antifa." Or that Antifa was behind the Capitol. You know, the, the the CIA, the FBI have come to the conclusion that this, that Antifa is not a group. Antifa is an is an idea, is an ideology. But people in the right wing want to tell you, "Oh, you know, Antifa did this. Antifa did this. there's no such thing as a group of Antifa. It's an idea." You know, it's not Q, Q, A, Q, A, no. I always, I always have a problem. I'm a, I'm a horrible Q, A, this. With them, it's not a problem. You know, there's, there's, there's another group of extremists that I just read. They're, they're from Virginia. They, they, they're getting, they're getting charged with um, conspiracy um, for, for the incident. So I, I forgot the name of it. I forgot. They're gonna get charged soon. So all these people that went into the, 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 the capital should get charged. Um, Get them the ten years they have to. You know, I mean, I believe that those people, some people, were in prison for lesser charges for, for marijuana. What it came to be, should be let out, and then these people take their place. 
Because those people that wouldn't sell their capital, those are traitors. Those are not Americans. Those you can hide. I mean, not you can hide. You can go in front of the capital. You can chant, 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 chant. That's it. Your voice is being heard. And like I said in my prior video, Donald Trump didn't tell him, go inside and do this. No, but he did his sight. By him telling by him telling lies, he infuriated people. Infuriated. And people, come on. Why are you getting mad because of votes? Okay, you feel disenfranchised? Or, you know, I voted. And if I found out that my vote in some way was not counted, okay, it's not counted. What I'm going to do, I, I, the next, 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 next election, I'm not going to vote. Or I vote somewhere else. I mean, or, or I vote for another party. But I'm not going to go all the way from my house, all the way to Washington, D.C., to start some shit, go inside a Capitol building, knowing that I can get federally charged if I get caught over a vote? Over because of a man? No, I'll march and die for Jesus Christ. I'll march and die for my kids. I'll march and die. I would even die for a cause that I think that in the future will benefit our, 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 our children. Then, yeah. But to go up there in the Capitol for a vote to say, oh, my vote wasn't counted, to say, oh, the 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 the, the, the election was stolen. How can you, how, how, how was the election stolen and there's no proof? Do you want, if you get charged of a crime, do you want to get charged of a crime? Because, I mean, you want to get, if you get charged, you want to see the proof. So if, I get, if I'm getting 20 years in prison, I want proof that what you're accusing me of. And I want concrete proof. I don't want no hearsay, she said. No, he said, she said. I don't want, oh, this This could be circumstantial. I don't want, this could be a maybe. Or this TG could have done this, but we don't know if he did do this. We still gonna, I don't want none of that, because I'm doing, I'm doing 20 years. I want facts. I want evidence that put me at the crime scene. Now, that's me. You got pictures. You got my fingerprints. You got all this. Like, oh, man, then I got nothing else to say. But in this case, they had nothing. They had nothing, nothing. And yet, yet they pushed that narrative. And you, you live in a country where you have people who are desperate for some excitement. People who are already, who, people who are already are racist. You incite their racism. Oh, because Donald Trump said, you know, uh, just this, 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 I'm going to do it. If Donald Trump says, let's go shoot people, you will have people, you will have right people, the right wing, you might, you might even have some people in the left that will go out to shoot because Donald Trump says so. You know, the people who got caught, that lady that got caught in Texas, and she had a, she flew from Texas on a private jet to Washington. She said she, she didn't go to jail. That Donald Trump should pardon her because she was doing the right thing. The leader for QAnon in Colorado, the bullhorn guy, the guy with the horn, he said, oh, no, we did it because Donald Trump sent this. No, Donald Trump didn't tell you to go to Washington. He, he, he might have told you, yeah, go to Washington and let's, and, and let's discuss this, <clears throat> but he didn't tell you to go in. He did say March the 14th. He, he, he did say March to Pennsylvania Avenue, but he said go in. But his tone of voice, the things that he was spewing, these people believe that's the right thing to do. And he knew that because he knows his crowd. You know your crowd. You know, you know if you're a singer, you go out there and you sing, and you know that this particular tune or this particular verse excites people, you're gonna keep, you're gonna sing that song because you know it gets that group excited. You know that because you're an artist, you've seen it through, through your tours. Same thing here. He knew what these people were looking for and he fed on that. He, you know, he, he, he fed people lies after lies after lies and people just fell for it. You know? Am, am, am I saying the Democrats are any better? No. Because they, they, they did the same thing in 2000. They, something that they did, you know, that wasn't right. But you 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 move forward. Do I like Nancy Pelosi? No, I don't. I think she shouldn't be. I, I think she shouldn't be. She shouldn't be the, the House Speaker. You know, anyone with that much power. I mean, she's she's twenty million dollars rich. Uh, Mitch McConnell has thirty million dollars. All right. Uh, Mnuchin has over five hundred million dollars. Why are these people in position of power? They don't care for you. I want someone in power who has who has gone through the struggle, who has lived the rough life, and made something of himself or herself. And you can say, you know what, that person knows what the struggle is. Then that's a person you admire. That's a person you want. You want people to speak for. I mean, you want that person to speak for you. It doesn't matter what party it is. Republican, Democrat, Tea Party, Independent. It doesn't matter. 
I've never liked the, 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 the idea of a rich person going into politics. I never did. Never have been, never will. Now, if you tell me that you you you, you became poor, you became rich, and you struggled, then I don't mind because you, you you can teach up you can teach others of your struggle. You can give testimony of your struggle. And people will look into that. People and people will say, you know what? King Geo did it. So if King Geo could do it, I can do it too. You know, this is a divided country. You've never seen this country, so I've never seen this country so divided in my life. I've seen misunderstandings. I've seen people not agreeing with one another. I've seen all that. But not this divided. Over votes, bro. Over votes. People tell me, I mean, I got this one guy, you tell you keep telling me, oh you Gio, how can you accept the fact that, that 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 your votes were 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 not counted or that your votes this or what that, you know, don't you want a fair election? Well we did have a fair election. Did not the cybersecurity that Donald Trump chose say that this was the most secure election of all time? Then Bill Barr says, this right here man said that there was no proof of overall fraud. Didn't it? Then Chris Christie say, where's the proof? The Republican that was governor of New Jersey? Mitt Romney? And 10 people voted against Donald Trump the other day for the impeachment. 10 Republicans. He said, this person said, oh, you, you, I, you, know, you guys had 10 Republicans turn. We didn't have 10 Republicans turn. Donald Trump had 10 Republican turns when he incited that riot. The same way he incited, you know, you know when, when, the summer, when the summertime came, when Black Lives Matter were outside the same building that these people were in, what did he do? Him and Barr sent send the, the, the military to gas them with tear gas so they can leave the front so Donald Trump could take a, a picture with him in a Bible, holding a Bible in front of a church. A church that he never attended. Whenever you ask Donald Trump, he's a Christian, I'm a Christian. When they ask him, what is your favorite verse? He goes, um, I, I don't want to talk about that. But I have a lot. I don't want to mix things because he doesn't know a verse. You'd be lucky if he knows John 3, 16. That's, that's the verse that everybody knows. That's, fa that's a famous verse. For God loves the words that he, that he sent his only begotten son. We all know that. But does he know? So, for 2021, I hope that with the new administration coming in, I hope that everyone can take their ideas to the side or their feelings to the side. And let's make this country what it's meant to be. All right? The greatest country in the world where you can voice your opinion, where you, you don't. I mean, I don't want to hear that bullshit about a media censorship because everybody in the media has the right to censor you whether they want to be. You're working for a private company. Um, you know, the First Amendment right is, is a right that, that you can use your voice to go against the government. That's a freedom of speech against the government. You know, you just, you know, I, if I own a private company and I see you and I see you that you did what you did at the Capitol, I will fire you because, you, you know, regardless of what I believe in, but you're giving my company a bad name. Because you do have people that will support you, and then you have people that won't support you. you know, and I, I, I don't want to have those people that don't support me make my business go down. You know, regardless of whether we agree or not, you're my employee. I got your back because you're my employee. You work for me. But once you pack, once you cross that line of no return, I can't hold. I can't hold your back. I can't have your back because you crossed that line. You did something that goes against everything that I believe in. Not even, not even everything I believe in, because I'm sorry, because I said before now, is <clears throat> you're going to go against something that a lot of people don't believe in, and that's going to bring my business down. So before my business goes down, I'm going to have to let you go. Ah, but what about my freedom of speech? Yeah, the freedom of speech is for you to speak out there. The freedom of speech is for you to speak against the government when you don't see nothing right, then you speak on that. But here there is no freedom of speech because this is my company. I run the company the way I want to. You can give me your opinion and it will be taken into consideration. But basically, there is no speech of speech. You, you, you're you not allowed to go into an office and do what you did. Let's say that the guy that went that went on his lunch break, he went into the Capitol and he had a badge on. He got fired on his lunch break. The senator from, from Virginia, he, he took selfies and, they, and, and he got arrested. I mean, does, does that make any sense to you? You're a public figure. You shouldn't be involved in those stuff like that. If the people that's what the people want, then fine, you know. But it is what it is. But let's just try to make this great, man. I mean, this is it, it, it hurts to see a country divided over votes, but guys, votes. Not because they killed someone, not because your pension is being touched, not because your money is being touched, because of votes. Votes. And everything that Donald Trump has done. You can you, you can look it up. Unemployment, he inherited unemployment. The economy, he inherited a good economy. 
Everything that he did, he inherited. He didn't do nothing. So, he didn't inherit any, I mean, he inherited everything that he had. From his money, to what, the, to what Barack Obama left him. So, before we give him accolades, before we give, we, we give him praise, search, do your research, and really, really research what actually Donald Trump did in his four years in office, and you're going to see his busy not around.